Hey, how you feel about that uh Tommy Moffat situation getting tired again fired? Oh, oh man, go? damn fool! Like, I know he was a big a, name in the LSU community, man. Y- yeah, that's 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 a, like a it's a it's a weird situation for all the people that like went there, played there, and trained under mm-hmm. him, fool. You know what I'm saying for his entire time there because that man, everybody know hear his voice in the back of their head every time they train in that that's ever been there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he didn't make so you know what I'm saying? A a lot of great players, even better players through who he is mm-hmm. and how he how hard he push us and all the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. It's crazy it's crazy because all of us like know he you know what I'm saying the shit start and end with him. You know what I'm saying? Cause he do the most work with us, really. You know what I'm saying? The coaches help us out, but he spend the most time with us and be on us more than anybody but if you else. Look at his credentials, bro. Right, fool. He been he been this everywhere. man is a winning ass coach, bro. Facts. As, Facts. Far, as far as strength conditioning go. He like, like he like he like Nick Saban when it comes to strength coaches. Yeah. Well, he got so many like assistants under him that that was there when mm-hmm. I was I was there or before that's like now head you know head strength coaches that you know the winning the D1, strength conditioning yeah. coaching school program. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, games. Three national titles he, I, during his nineteen years. Right. Three natties. He he got so many people that's just you know guys just come through there and just excel. Put up crazy ass numbers when it comes to the, you know, postseason mm-hmm. and Getting to the draft and shit like that, like you know, Moffat know what he's doing. So uh, that was it was it was it was a little hard to hear for us, and we still kind of like, damn, fool, really? Like, that's, yeah. We had to get rid of Moffat. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, he ain't gonna be on the market for long. No, no, nah, I mean, he, real yeah, fast. F- yeah, fool. But it's like for us, we like, damn, I feel like, yeah, because we he is at least we've had so many people in in our program that have been there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Coach Nader, who mm-hmm. just retired, was there for, f- bro, he probably been there since he was like 20-something. Dang. He, he about 90. Dang. You know what I'm saying? He been there for so long. Somebody he gave his life to LSU. Right. Really? That's what that, And that's how we felt about Coach Mob. We like shit. I thought he was going to be there until he, because that's just Couldn't how much. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's just how much I, you know, saw LSU with him, but yeah. shit. You know, I, don't I know think people. Do I don't think a lot of people understand the impacts, positive and negative, that strength conditioning coaches can have on oh, players. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it yeah. don't, it, and it have, and a lot of it doesn't even have to do with football. That's the thing about strength conditioning coaches. Most of them, I say like ninety percent of them, ninety five, ninety nine, don't have shit to do with upstairs. Right. No. Yeah. They just. You they know what I'm saying? Just like they ain't making what, no football decisions, so they actually can just be open and real with you. Right. They just deal with the player and they yes. their you know body development and their discipline yeah. and work yeah. ethic. Like that's really it. That's really yeah. it. And that's where it's like shoot. That's strength coach. Because my people got so much respect across all levels of football. For yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's. But we, That's we sad see, for we them, gonna, man. I hope he, we gonna hope see. he find, bounce back and get him a job, man. I hope he can come to Auburn or something, man. I don't know who's running the strength edition over there, but... He's he going to be straight. We, man, hope, hope uh, Brian Kelly, uh, you know, do shit the right way because we don't want to... Yeah. We don't... We, we didn't have some rough years. We want to see it going back up. 